Hello, it's Pastor Kirk, and we're glad to have you joining us for our children's sermon. After much begging and pleading and saying, Dad, please let me do it, we have Lydia here as our special guest for the children's sermon. We have Lydia, and she brought a friend, too. This is Lammy. Okay, yep, so Lammy's here for the children's sermon. So, uh, one thing that we have been missing a lot of now We're almost at the end of April and going into May. We've been missing baseball. And uh, in addition to being a pastor, I am also the homeschool gym teacher for the Thorson crew. And so on some afternoons when the weather has been nice, we've been playing soccer, but we've also been playing what, Lydia, in the front yard? Baseball. Baseball. We've been playing baseball. So do you want to show them how you hold the bat and how you swing? I've got the bat here. This is the one we use just for Lydia. And she's going to stand here. Put your hands together. Are your knees bent? Yeah. Is your back elbow up? Yeah. Good. Are you looking straight ahead to where the pitcher is? Mm -hmm. Good. And this is the wiffle ball that I use uh, for Jude and Will. I like to throw the curve balls and things like that. But for Lydia, she just gets the straight pitches. And Lydia, do you hit every pitch that I throw to you? No. No. That's kind of the hard thing about baseball, isn't it? Sometimes the batter misses the pitch that is thrown to them. And then other times you hit it, right? It goes all the way across the street. Yep, you can sit down there. That's one thing about baseball. Even the best hitters in baseball get out a lot. They might strike out or they might hit the ball to the outfield and have it get caught. Or they might hit a ground ball to the shortstop or third base. Uh, I did a little research here. I know we have lots of Twins fans. Um, If you are a Twins fan, I'm thinking of the Spies family, Max and Sam, Paul Hookman, Ethan Fosland, who was the Twins' best hitter last year, average-wise? I was thinking Nelson Cruz, but actually the second baseman, the rookie second baseman, Luis Arise, batted 334. That's pretty good, especially for a rookie. Um, But that still meant that he was getting a hit one-third of the time. It means two out of every three times he was getting out. And uh, I think I might be the only White Sox fan here in this entire congregation, but Tim Anderson, he batted 335. He led the league in hitting. And Jude is a Cubs fan. He likes Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo was one of the best Cubs batters. He only batted 293. So that means seven out of ten times he was getting out. Only three out of ten times those best hitters got on base, reached base safely. It means they made a lot of mistakes. They got tricked sometimes or fooled by the pitcher who was throwing the ball. It means they had to go back to the dugout. And I was kind of thinking of how a lot of that ties into the Christian life. Lydia, I'm your dad, but I'm also a pastor, right? Do I make some mistakes and sins sometimes? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my secret's out. I make mistakes and sin. The Bible says that we all sin and fall short of the glory of God. I was thinking of the Apostle Paul. He wrote in Romans chapter 7. He said, the things that I know I should not do, those are the things that I end up doing. The things that I know that I should do, those are the things I can't do. So Paul says, the things I know I shouldn't do, those are the things I end up doing. And the things that I know I should do, I can't do them very well. The Apostle Paul said, I make mistakes, I sin all the time. And so just like the Apostle Paul we can say, man, we make mistakes. We sin a lot. And the good news is, is that God loves us and forgives us. He doesn't hold those mistakes against us. He loves us. And because of Jesus, he looks at us as if we're holy and clean, and as if we'd never had ever sinned. So think of that when you were watching baseball this summer, about how even the best professional players get out far more than they reach base safely. They make lots of mistakes. We make mistakes too. But because of God's love and mercy, he loves us and forgives us. Right, Lydia? Mm -hmm. Right, Lammy? Yes! All right. Thank you. Have a great week.